Hello everybody. Today is kind of a fun day. Today is the first time in almost, well, four months that I have had the kitchen to myself. Chad went with our branch president to do some errands and I got to stay home by myself to have my kitchen to myself and to just cook away and this is really kind of fun. Love Chad to death, love him to death. What I'm doing is preparing some food for an upcoming zone conference and let me tell you what a zone conference is. The zone conference is where all of the missionaries in a particular area get together for meetings and activities and we had a zone, con or not a zone conference, but a seniors conference in Montenegro, and that was without any of the youth. That was just the um, senior couples and se older senior people that are out serving missions. But for our zone conference, the senior missionaries like me, we prepared the food for the zone conferences, and so that is what I'm doing right now. So I've got five pounds of hamburger in here that I am browning with some onion. There's five pounds of hamburger over there that I'll do once this is cooked up and I'll show you. I am making sloppy joes right now and I think that the missionaries will really like that. The hardest part about fixing dinner, fixing food for a group is knowing what to fix them. And I, know, I knew that I wanted to fix something that I could prepare ahead of time, that I could keep in the refrigerator and warm up the day that I need it. So I'm, I'm two days ahead of schedule here, but this Sloppy Joe recipe, it will really marinate together and it'll be even better than if I had cooked it and served it today. It will be even better. So I'm hoping that they like it. I think that they will. I think it's a pretty good recipe for a big group. And I will leave a link in the description below on how to make it. I've got a video on how to make it. Um, it's really easy. It's been a favorite for years. It's my sister-in-law Merlene's recipe and we have been eating this for 40 plus years. So I think it's tried and true. I think it has been tried and what do they say? I think it is tried and true. I think you might want to see this. I've got curry powder in here. Well, what I've got is hamburger and ketchup and water and curry powder, salt and pepper. Oh, oh, let me show you something. This is how the black pepper comes. It comes in little packages like this. And the same with the bay leaves. I've got a package of bay leaves. That's how they come. And so I need to put four bay leaves in here with this. And I will just let this sit here on the stove and simmer for an hour and a half or so and then i will take it off the stove and put it in a container refrigerate it until we need it what i decided to do was get the crock pot out and put the cooked sloppy joes in it and i'll let them simmer for a couple hours that frees up the kettle that i have on the stove here to make another batch and i'll get it done we are finding our way around Serbia pretty good these days. We know where to shop. I found the stores that carry the brands and the things that I like. Well, some of the brands, like the ketchup. The ketchup isn't the same in Serbia as it is in the United States, but I found one that's really close and we're going with that today. It's still Heinz tomato ketchup but I don't know. I don't know what makes it different, but it is. It's a little bit different, but this is close enough. Well, while that is cooking, and you can probably hear it over there on the stove cooking, and before Chad gets back to the apartment, I thought I would just take a few minutes and chat and tell you some of the things that's on my mind. And um, I want to first start by saying how appreciative I am of your support. I tell my family this all the time. I tell them how much I appreciate the support that they are to Chad and I on our mission. I don't know if we tell you guys enough how much we appreciate your support and all the nice comments that you leave us in, you know, encouragement and it just means an awful lot to us. 
We have been on our mission for almost, well, it has been, it's been four months. And I just can't believe it. That I tell my children back home, the grandchildren, the days go by super fast. And the weeks go by really fast. It just seems like before I know it, Monday's here again, or Sunday's here again, and it, I don't know where the time goes. But the months haven't been going by fast to me. I'll, I think as fast as the days and the weeks are going by, it's only been four months. And I, I guess I'm not alone in that. I've talked to other missionaries that say, yeah, we, we felt the same way. It's not that they're wishing their mission away, and it's not that they're counting the days to go home, but it's just it's just the way it is. They just notice that the months, it seems like they've been out a long time. And that's the way it feels like to me. It feels like we've been out longer than four months, and yet it seems like it's gone by really fast. I don't know if that makes one bit of sense to you, but it makes sense to me, okay? Um, I, the things that I, I like about being out here on our mission is I really enjoy being with Chad 24-7. And I know that won't last forever. I know that one day we'll be back home and he'll be, my batteries are all flashing. <laughs> I just changed it and this one's flashing so I need to I need to charge them all but what I was saying is I know that this will not last forever and I am trying to just enjoy every minute of it and and enjoy the area that we are in and enjoy being with Chad 24/7 even though today it is kind of nice to have the apartment to myself and to just um, I don't know just feel the warmth of cooking in the kitchen and picking up the camera and talking to you guys without anybody listening to me. Sometimes I'll pick up the camera and talk and you know when other people are listening even if it is your husband or your children or whoever uh, it it's just not it doesn't flow as easy and I just wanted to pick this up today and tell you hello and that I love what I do. I love being in. Okay, so my battery has a little bit of a charge on it. Here I've got this pot is cooking down. And this one is still simmering. Here lays my clean laundry. So I was just sitting here listening to the sound of the apartment. Every home has a certain sound. And I, I think back home, the sound that I miss, I remember how my clock sounded. I remember how my refrigerator hums. And I know exactly where the floor creaks when I walk from the dining room to the kitchen. And I know what truss in our, ra what rafter creaks at a certain time of the day or when the sun gets us, when it heats up and then expands, there's a rafter in our house that creaks. And it's done that for years. If you didn't, if you weren't familiar with it, you'd think the roof was gonna fall in. But I, I love those sounds of a home. And I was just sitting here quietly listening to our apartment. And I hear water in the pipes. I hear a radiator. I think it's the radiator. Um, every home has its own sound. And I just wonder if you've ever noticed that about where you live, if there's a certain sound that says, I'm home. Every home has a different smell too, doesn't it? I think that's really fun. Anyway, just a thought. And I don't know if my camera is in focus. I don't know, my eyes are kinda, my eyes are not well today. For some reason, I'm not seeing quite like I should. But it still doesn't look focused. Anyway, you might be watching this whole video out of focus. I don't know. This is where Chad and I keep our boots. And when he comes in, he'll put his shoes there and then he'll put his house slippers on. But look what I got the other day. Aren't those the cutest 
boots. I just love them. They are leather and they are called London Fly. And I just, they feel so good on my feet. They're good to walk in. I'm going to put them on. been a while since I've met this guy at the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the first time I've probably, maybe the second time I've come in yeah. without you. But yeah. it's the first time you've been gone for more than 10 oh, minutes, just, just five a, minutes. Yeah, yeah you've yeah. been gone for a few hours. I missed you. Yeah, well, glad to be home. Does the house smell good? Oh, it, it smells like home. <laughs> yeah, I've been cooking. Uh, yep, I've yep. been cooking and I've been talking to these guys. I've been telling everybody how we love to be together. Oh, yeah. But, but you know something about me. Oh, yeah. You, and when you need to run an errand or be with one of your sisters or out of town, I don't mind it. <laughs> and I know she doesn't mind being left alone for a few days. <laughs> he, knows, he knows that about me, yeah. and that's good. Yeah. That's good. But we do great. I don't yeah. think we've had any... Oh. Any, then we haven't had any issues no. at all. No. Other, no. Than, other than sometimes he gets grumpy. You, you eat more of the chocolate bar than I get. Yeah, but I eat more than <laughs> you do. She, she doesn't share as good. Do as, you guys want to see the best, best chocolate oh. bar? This is the best chocolate bar, I'll show you. And we, <laughs> we've got, we've got yes, four, we keep a supply. <laughs> this. Yeah. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah. This is the best chocolate bar I think I've yeah. ever had. Yeah. We like it real well. And it's not like crazy expensive. It's just a no. normal price. It's I mean, not too bad. Everything's expensive, but that's just normal. So I was going to tell you about the Sloppy Joes. The hamburger buns here in Serbia are, well, you don't really find hamburger buns like you do in the States, but the bread that they, we've ordered some, they're, they're, bigger than my hand um kind of a bun kind of oh i i'll show it to you when i get them we're going to pick them up on friday i'll throw a clip in here of those hamburger buns but they are going to be so delicious with this sloppy joe in them anyway thank you so much again for watching and i will see you next time bye bye